Statistics play a vital role not only in data analysis but also in decision making. There are a bunch of tests that statisticians use to get the most accurate information from the data. Here I'll discuss one of the most basic statistical tests which is called t-test. t-test compares the means between two groups of interest. If we have two groups, let's say over here we have, we have group 1 And we have over here we have group two and the samples of group one, let's say there are one, two and three, and over here the samples are two, three and four. The average of group one is simply adding up the samples and divide the sum by the total number, which is over here group one the average is 2 and over here the average is 3 the question is is this difference of 1 significantly different in other words can we conclude that group 1 is significantly different from group 2 in terms of the means if you ask an ordinary person the same question he or she will get the average of group 1 like I did here and get the average of group 2 and simply subtract these two means and say that these two are different but if we ask the same question to an statistician uh, will he or she uh, provide the same answer but the thing is we need to have a reference if we proceed in the first way, we can not conclude that there is enough evidence to conclude that the groups are significantly different. The solution is to perform t-test. t-test was named like that because it was first introduced by a statistician named William C. Cosset, whose pen name was Student, and he first introduced the concept of t-statistic. When he ran a hypothesis test, he generated a test statistic called t-statistic, which was basically used as a cutoff point for comparison. t-statistic is calculated like this. t equals x minus mu divided by s over square root of n. We can place a bar over x to make sure that this is an average of the sample. Here t is the t statistic, x bar is the sample mean, mu is the hypothesized mean, s is the standard deviation of the sample, and n is the total number of samples. This value of t statistic is compared against the t value for the rejection region. There are many libraries in Python that can perform this t test and provide the t statistic as well as the p value. P-value tells us the probability of the sample data happened by chance. Therefore, if the P-value is small, typically if it is less than 5%, there is little evidence that the sample data occurred by chance and we need to check that. On the other hand, if the P-value is high, typically if it is higher than 5%, it can be concluded that there is enough evidence that the collected data are random data. The null hypothesis is stated to take the usual occurrence as random and taking no difference between the means. The alternative hypothesis is just the opposite. It states that there is difference between the means of the groups. Every t value comes with a p value associated with it. Let's go back to the initial example that I stated before. Initially we have two groups. Group 1 The average of group 1 was 2 and we have another group which is 
group 2 and the average of group 2 was 3. The null hypothesis in this case will state that there is no difference between the two groups. The alternative hypothesis will state that there is difference between these two groups. This is considered as a two sample t test. The t statistic for two samples is t equals x1 bar minus x2 bar minus mu1 minus mu2 divided by s divided by whole square root of 1 over n1 plus 1 over n2 x1 bar is the mean of the first group x2 bar is the mean of the second group mu1 is the hypothesized mean of the first group mu2 is the hypothesized mean of the second group s is the standard deviation the equation we're going to see for this s in a little while n1 is the total number of samples in the first group and n2 is the total number of samples in the second group the standard deviation in the previous equation is calculated by this formula s equals n1 minus 1 s1 square plus n2 minus 1 s2 square divided by n1 minus 1 plus n2 minus 1 n1 is the total number of samples in the first group n2 is the total number of samples in the second group and s1 is the standard deviation of the first group and s2 is the standard deviation of the second group one fundamental assumption to perform t-test is that both samples are normally distributed t-test can also be performed before and after any specific treatment is applied which has a name called paired t-test which is paired t-test let's say we have a small section where the students went through a crash math course we want to evaluate the performance of the students before and after the math crash course and this can be done using the t-test we have to collect the sample before the crash course and evaluate the data and collect the samples after the crash course and evaluate the data the sample data should be collected from section A before and after the crash course and then perform the t-test let's go to the Python implementation of t-test here I have used the library penguin to perform the t-test it is a very good library to f get a start straightforward implementation for t-test here I will use a uh, sales data I can show you the data over here the data is basically consisted of three worksheets in the first worksheet we have sales data in the second worksheet we have the product data which is which has the unit uh, price for the each and every product and the third worksheet has the supervisor name for each and every employee so basically it has sales data product data and employee data we first read the we first read the three worksheets for the sales data dot xlsx and we merge the data data frame 1 and data frame 2 on the product id because it has the column in common and we then calculated the revenue by multiplying the units sold times the price per unit and then finally we merge the df4 with df3 to get the uh, final data frame and which was merged on employee id the data frame looks like this it has the date column employee id product id unit sold product name price per unit revenue and employee name and the supervisor of each and every employee let's get the 
revenue from supervisor 1. This is calculated in this block and the revenue calculated from supervisor 2 is calculated by this block. The revenue calculated from supervisor 1 is 15,137.47 and the revenue calculated from supervisor 2 is 14,711.63. We want to compare these two means and uh, like to per would like to uh, perform the t-test and uh, want to know that if there is any significant difference between these two means. The one-liner for performing t-test using penguin library is this pg.t-test. The first parameter, the second parameter which is the first revenue and the uh, second one is the second revenue and we round each and every number to three decimal point. The result shows is showing here which has a t statistic of 1.283 with a p-value of 0 0.199. The high p-value which is uh, greater than 5% tells us that there is not enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis. Alternatively, we can say that the evidence is not enough to prove that the group means are different. The 95% confidence interval is also shown here. Cohen D is the standardized difference between the two means. That is, in this case, the two means are differing by 0 0.045 standard deviation. BF10 represents the base factor which is the ratio of the likelihood of H1, which is alternative hypothesis, and the H0, which is the null hypothesis. So it is basically the ratio of alternative hypothesis to null hypothesis. In this case, the hypothesis for alternative hypothesis is 9% only. I have written a blog on a statistical test which is comprised of t-test and ANOVA. The equations and all the implementation using Penguin library, all of those you will get here. I will provide the link in the description. This shows the t-test background and the brief introduction of t-test and the related equations for the two sample t-test and also down here the code for t-test using using the pandas and penguin library i have used the sales data for the t-test which is here the revenue calculated from supervisor one and the revenue calculated from supervisor two and those two means are um, keyed are taken as parameters for the t-test over here pg.ttest and the result shows that there is no significant difference uh, between these uh, two revenues. So that's it for the t-test. Hopefully you have uh, enjoyed this. We'll see you in the next uh, video. Thank you.